Des, King of the Pit TV, signing in. We're finishing the record, essentially, track 14 of 17, Suburban Rebels, Spin a Mission. This one is Smash the Discos. Let's go. This is fucking punk, isn't it? This sounds like the exploited or something. Oh, this sounds like the exploited, doesn't it? What do you think? That was hard. That was a good tune. Smash the discos. It was catchy. Got straight to the point. It was ignorant. It was a good tune. That that in um, cooperation with the prior song, Drinking and Driving, was a really good combination. That was like bitter and sweet. Let's keep it going. Disco Girls straight after Smash the Discos. There's King of the Pit TV. This is Disco Girls. We just heard about smashing the discos. What's going on with the girls? Let's go. But we're gonna kick it to the car then go on. Why has he made a tune about the disco girls straight after on about smashing the discos? What's going on? The girls contribute to the discos. Come on. Bro, this sounds like a stupid question, but what are people even doing the discos back in the day? I know they used to dance and stuff, and I know about disco music. Is it literally in relation to disco music? Was disco in relation to disco music back in the day? Like, what, what, why would people hate on discos? Is it like the equivalent to a nightclub we've got nowadays? Like a pop nightclub? Disco or
Meanwhile, at the punk rock do, it's 99% male. Complete sausage fest. Right, let's get moving. Bonus track, Deo, coming up next, people. What the hell is Deo?